someone just sent me this on Insta. Thank you for bringing this to my attention and I'm just going to be talking about this real quick. This is for those who are still unsure and want to learn more about guide dogs and the laws and regulations that surround them in Singapore. So yes, that is my feet and my dog in this photo. And I'm very grateful that the majority of the comments have come to our defence. Thank you for that. Some guide dogs spend the first two years of their lives undergoing intensive training. I can get into detail on that in a separate video. But basically, there are a lot of tests and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of training and socialising done in this period. And unfortunately, not all dogs make the cut because they fail certain tests. After they graduate guide dog school, they undergo another three to four weeks of training with the handler. And after that, they graduate and are allowed into majority of public spaces. The only two spaces that are legally not allowed in are restaurant kitchens and surgery rooms. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am blind slash visually impaired. I'm very liberal with whichever term you want to use for me. <laughs> Alright, I'm running out of time and Orinda wants to play. I'll see y'all in the next video. I want to start by saying to whoever has been involved in this saga, um, whether you have been supporting me, um, whether you have been defending the staff member, whether you are the staff member yourself, um, or whether you are the restaurant manager yourself, I just want to express my greatest apologies and sorry to all of you. It was a poor move and poor judgment on my part for thinking that this is the way to resolve discrimination issues instead of trying to bring light to this in a more positive manner or in a way that would garner better responses and to not cause so much chaos and hatred among the community. This is truly something that I really did not intend to do. However, I recognize that this is, has been done and I really apologize and I'm so sorry for all of this that has happened. I recognize that I am the one that has started this whole incident and I want to put this to an end as well. I know this is something that is going to take time to resolve. Um, I know that everybody's going to take their own time to recover from this incident and everybody should take whatever time they need to recover and move on from this incident. However, moving forward, and this is including myself as well, I do not want to spread any more hatred amongst each other and I don't, I really hope that there will be no more um, arguments, whether it's um, people fighting for the guide dog movement or people defending service staff. I really hope that we can move on in a more positive manner. And I also want to express that I will be taking all videos that I've posted um, of this incident down, of course, with exclusion of this one. Moving forward in my efforts to create better awareness for guide dogs, I want to post more positive content that sheds light on this matter. Um, I'm very grateful that I have had some companies reach out to me um, asking if we would like to collaborate to show best practices in how to handle someone um, that comes in with a guide dog. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. And I really thank those companies that have reached out, um, wanting to collaborate on that because this is absolutely the way forward that I want to be moving towards. Arinda has come here, um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you watching the whole way through. Oh, <laughs> and I really hope to spread more positive light. Thank you so much.